and uh, fellow Amazonians. Uh, thank you very much for a wonderful year of commitment to our liberation, to our forces, to our people. This will be our last mobilization of resources for the year 2021. And I really want to thank you very much for your sacrifices and for uh, the investment you've made towards your own freedom. As we said from the beginning, we have to make be the primary investors so we can own the outcome. Most liberation struggles are funded by external actors, institutions, and, and structures. And they basically offer you some sort of pseudo-political independence while they own the most important aspect of independence, which is economic independence. We have been the primary investors in our own struggle and our own liberation. And I'm extremely very proud because we are shaping the future in our own images. And I can assure you that our political system will be a reflection of the contextual reality in which uh, we are growing up. It has been a, a very intense year, internationally, diplomatically, and on the ground. Our forces have remained poised. They have taken a wonderful actions. We have seen wonderful generals like No PT emerge and bled, you know, the occupier in a significant way that has empowered our people. We have seen the newly appointed Major General for the Bamenda Brigade for the state of Mezam, Major General Rambo, the Punisher, who in the last few weeks has inspired our people and basically declared the Mbengui Alab Kam Axis a no-go zone for the occupier. We also have noticed the fall of top commanders, Brandy, Tokandu, and others. Very painful loss in our struggle. I was just speaking to our Mezam coordinator in the past hours and was talking about the number of widows that are left behind that they are looking after, the number of wounded soldiers. The scars of wars are real. And I'd like us to be reminded of this reality on a daily basis. I have said repeatedly, this is not a movie. Uh, this is real war with victims that we know, scars that we will never forget, and opportunities that we will embrace for our country. Uh, my fellow citizens, we have a long way to go in ending the impunity of the occupier. It will require every Amazonian across the globe to commit to the struggle. Five years into this war, we have begged, we have appealed. There are sections of our society who watch this war go on as though it doesn't concern them. There are sections of our society who see the genocide as being perpetrated on others. Five years, we have proven our commitment to our independence, we've proven our commitment to our people. And we will be adopting in 2022 holistic draconian measures that will compel everyone to commit. And I mean everyone. We have started with the liberation tax. All multinationals within our homeland will have to pay a liberation tax. It is non-negotiable. Territoriality is an international law principle that says the one who controls the territory is the only one who has the power to impose any form of taxation in replication for development and safeguarding the interests of the people. In the diaspora, we have million, uh, thousands and thousands of Amazonians. Less than 3% are committed. Every December, hundreds and hundreds are flying into the homeland, flowing with the blood of our people to engage in marriages, to engage in activities 
and celebratory activities in total disregard to all those who are buried in the soil on which they, they, they trek. Every year, thousands of our people in the diaspora enabling the economy of La Republic, fueling their economy with thousands and thousands of dollars, enabling them to mobilize resources you know, for, for, for the killing of our people. I want to assure you, and I don't say this lightly, I say this with all confidence in the fact that if you ever doubted our determination to be free, if you thought this stuff was a joke, five years after you should have come to the conclusion that we are committed to our homeland, to our people, and safeguarding the lives and dignity of our people. It is not only the job of a very few, it must be the job of all. If you do not commit, you will not enter Amazonia from next year. I can assure you 100%, everyone in the diaspora, you will receive a letter. Every association, cultural, social, you will receive a notification of your commitment to the Amazonian people. If you don't do so, forget about going into the embassy of the enemy to ask for a visa to enter our land and trek on the soil on which the blood of our people flow. We must put an end to the tyranny of the occupier next year. This will require commitment from everyone. Even those of you sitting on this Zoom meeting, you will have to increase your commitment to the liberation of our homeland. There will be no excuses of I don't feel good. There will be no excuses or there has been no attack in the past few weeks. The Bamenda attack alone cost the organization more than 25,000 US dollars. That it is what it cost to get freedom. I ask all of you to remain committed. I can't thank you more. I know it's your country. I thank you also for your support to my leadership. We have made little errors. Where we have erred, we have explained, we have apologized. And we will continue to demonstrate exemplary leadership, that with character, where leaders can be held accountable. No leader will have the mandate of perpetuity to govern without the consent of the people. All organizations must be ones that have leaders that are elected with a defined mandate, a charter or constitution that define their activities. Corruption must be eliminated in the body politics of every organization. Corruption kills more than war. And that's the commitment of the Amazonian Governing Council to the Amazonian people and beyond. Our struggle is not only that to free Amazonia. Our struggle is to set an example within the continent of Africa of a new dawn. A dawn where political independence is juxtaposed with economic independence, where our people can have true independence to govern themselves according to their own ways, to exploit their resources for the benefit primarily of their people and those who live in their own territory, to craft laws that protect the dignity of the life, freedom of speech, the right to life of their people, where leaders are governors who have consent given to them by the people. We will not have the kind of independence that we have today. We will not excuse anyone who refuses to commit to our liberation, who refuses in times of an existential threat on our people to put their own lives, to put their own resources for the defense of our homeland. Amazonia is going to be a new state with a new beginning for the continent. It's going to shine the light on all the evil that has held Africa backward, all the evil that has kept the section of our continent, whether they are women, whether they are children, they handicap backward. It is a new beginning for the continent, and I'm glad that we are on this journey uh, together. Our forces need resources. What we are providing is not enough. I ask you to sacrifice more, to dig deeper into your wallet, take a second job, take a third job, and make more commitment to our forces. We are going to lose some battles. We are going to win more. 
In the past days, our diplomacy has been going well. I can assure you that we have won over to a significant extent the international community. They now believe in our leadership. They believe in the vision we present for our country as an alternative to the archaic tyranny under which we've lived for 60 years. They believe that Ambazonia is an anchor for political stability and economic prosperity. They believe in the leadership, which is mature, which has a vision, which has a roadmap, not only for the liberation, for the reconstruction and the rebuilding of the lives of our people. We must continue to conduct ourselves in this spirit. We must continue to respect our code of conduct. We have engaged in different ways to alter the way this conflict is seen. And I can say that there are movements on every front, but we must continue to mobilize. We must continue to strengthen our forces. Without a strong army on the ground, there is no Ambazonia. All the talk we talk here is going to be meaningless. We must provide good clothing to our fighters. We must look after the widows. We must look after their children. We must provide shelter, food, and we must make sure that we look after the ones they have left behind. And I want to thank the Ambazonian Governing Council for doing that. Thank you very much. If I don't have to speak to you again, I wish you a wonderful uh, new year. I will speak to you in the new year, defining the policies uh, for the year 2022. We must end La Republic's reign over Amazonia. We will not do it if we do not force businesses to pay liberation tax. We will not do it if we do not compel all Amazonians across the globe to commit uh, to the struggle. Good evening to everyone.